So what we're gonna do in this tutorial is create an interactive table of contents. So when I tap on the little icons, it goes to the different pages that the kids have actually created. And it's really easy to do. So let's get started. So I've created my pages, you can see here, and all my text and pictures just bringing down shapes. And I've also created the slides down the left-hand side. That's really important when we're linking. So if we go to our first page, oh, I've also got a home button, I'll talk about that later. So if we click on our chook and we press link, we can actually link it to a slide. In this case, it'll be slide two. And if we do that for the world and also the fox, we can actually link it to the pages that it wants to go to. It's almost becoming a little bit like a website if you like, but it makes it more interactive for the person that's viewing the project. Um, so I've linked to each of the slides there. And if I press play, it's always good to test it. You can see it goes there, but when I tap on it, it goes to the next slide. So I need to actually activate this little house, which is just a shape. I'm gonna link that back to the first page, which is the table of contents. So it's kind of like my home page on a website. And by doing that, um, it'll just keep coming back to slide one. And so whoever's reading my project or assignment, they have greater control going through the project. So if we play that in a minute, we'll just do that last one. And if we play now, if I hit on the chook and I press the home, it goes back to the table of contents each time. Hope you found that useful. Paul Hamilton signing off.